Hello, and welcome to my channel if you've never been here. Welcome back if you're still sticking around with me. Um, I wanted to hop on and just do a very quick update. So I believe my last video, I was in the middle of a crisis. I was dealing with a lot of stuff, as we all are. I had been dealing with the loss of a pet and personal stuff, family drama, all kinds of things, and just, you know, the very real existential crisis of our world right now. And so I was ready to record a new update. Two months ago, I sat down, I did the video, I shared all kinds of stuff, and I promptly fell down and sprained my ankle the next morning, and that was that. So I decided not to post that video, just scrap the whole thing. I was in a completely different frame of mind, and as with so much that has happened lately, it's just, you know, one day to the next, everything changes, and my plans are all over the place. So I haven't really felt much like coming down and just sharing my major life goals or anything because so much of it is changing day to day. I do still have some major plans. I am still writing. I am still actively rewriting the third draft of my current project. This is the post-developmental edit. Right now I'm in the revise and refine stage and that's going well. I'm about 100 pages in. I don't hate it, which is always a good <laughs> sign. And I'm planning, you know, what the next steps are going to look like in the coming months. But overall, I'm still, you know, like <sighs> living the COVID life. So I am in a hot spot. We had a, our height of cases back in July. And right now we're looking like we're getting back there. So the numbers are not hopeful. Um, Every day we're getting closer back to the thousands, which is where we were in July and August. And we had a little bit of a reprieve in September and the beginning of October, but now the numbers are rising again. The governor has completely taken away all power from the local government to in issue mask mandates or anything. And it's a shit storm. So that's the Miami life right now. But, you know, I'm still, I'm still working from home. I'm still doing the best I can to stay healthy and take care of my family who are vulnerable and don't live with me, but I am like the primary task person. So all the to-do lists kind of get given to me as I really don't want them going out and being exposed. So life has been kind of complicated. I've been working from home. I've been balancing that like work-life balance within my work life home situation, which is weird and I kind of have established a solid routine pattern that kind of helps me divide my like physical space into like this is the work area even though my space is very small but like this is the work side of the couch and this is the enjoyment side of the couch and this is the desk that only is for creative writing versus the area where I do my other stuff. So it's, it's kind of a weird mental split slash physical division of my space, but it's working for me and that's the only thing kind of keeping me going right now. Um, tomorrow I am gearing up to bring home a second cat. He is, you can hear a little girl jingling and I'm not even gonna bother with that. I, we're just gonna jingle away today. Um, so tomorrow I'm bringing home a friend for her. He is a former feral that lives in my mom's neighborhood and well, not really feral, more of a stray than a feral. He's not particularly feral in his temperament. He had some recent health issues and so I'm going to offer him whatever the best life I can offer will be in my home and hopefully little girl will have a friend because she's been a little bit lonely and extremely needy. Anytime I even leave the house she gets really anxious and I do worry that whenever I do go back to a normal work situation it's not going to be great for her being alone. So even though I'm not really quite ready for another pet so soon after losing um sugar bear we call him that's not his name but that's that's the code i have come up with um even after you know like losing him so soon and not quite being ready and it, that was quite dramatic how he passed um I can offer this other cat a decent life for however long he has because he he may or may not also have 
underlying health conditions that will shorten his life. He's already gone through two major infections that were hard to treat. The goal is that by keeping him indoors, he will not go through any major infections like that ever again. He tested negative for FIV, so after you know going through all the tests, he tested negative for all the things that I needed to make sure he was negative for, so we're going to introduce them tomorrow. They have sort of met, but only under duress, so only under like evacuation orders and stuff. So I'm gonna see how they get along, and hopefully it'll be a good thing for her and a good thing for me too, because uh, it's kind of sad seeing you know, like this one furry companion that I have looking pretty darn melancholy. So it's, it's a sign of our times. So I'm gonna bring a nice happy little friend. She's watching me as I do this um, and see how that goes. Otherwise, you know, it's just me and her. We're alone, we're at home. We spend our days inside. I go out for brief walks, but I have to admit since the numbers shot up and more people were at home I stopped walking as often and then obviously I sprained my ankle so for two solid months I had like zero physical activity beyond just a little bit of upper body work which also did not work out so great for me because I damaged my shoulder so I'm my usual hot mess of a situation I have health issues and they crop up at the worst times but otherwise I'm doing well things are working out as best they can and you know, we chug along. I'm not particularly optimistic in general. I'm hoping that I am proven wrong in my fears. I hope that we do see a change. I hope that this does not become, you know, another three month death knell for vulnerable people. And I hope that January brings some good positive change and we'll leave it at that. So. For now, I leave you guys. It's a short little brief intro. I hear the traffic building outside. And as I said, I'm not, I'm not about the heavy editing right now because that's just not where I am mentally in this moment. And that's why it's been so difficult to sit down and just chat. Um, if you do want to keep up with whatever I'm doing, I am posting a weekly blog about my daily activities, just kind of keeping track of what I do day to day. Partly just so I know that time is passing and that the days have some difference between them and partly just you know for myself as a this is what happened in my year of quarantine almost at this point like I've been home since March so we'll see how the rest of this year pans out but I hope to sit down and have a few more videos I'm fingers crossed things take a turn for the better and don't just keep backsliding the way they are right now and I'll see you all later Drop a comment down below, let me know how you're doing. And I will, as always, link the blog down below so you can also find that there and follow along with my random daily musings if you so choose. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.